Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit your notifications. Today we'll be making Shea Bay hair butter. I've made this before in one of my reels, but I thought I would do a very detailed one. Plus, I'm really enjoying how I made this new recipe. I actually added two new ingredients well two new oils and i think it just really brought out the shea as well as blended it better and i think i definitely infused it better this time as well because the first time i infused it, i only had a coffee filter so it made the shea darker but this time i infused it and it actually infused well so this is the shea powder i got this from amazon it's a small pack you can purchase bigger i just started small because i wanted to really just test out the ayurvedic herb and this is mango butter and then this is the shea butter of course and this is the creamy version i wanted to definitely make my hair butter really creamy and absorbing so i've got the shea butter that's creamy now this is going to be safflower and peanut oil i switched the oils because peanut oil is really good for strengthening and making a vibrant healthy looking shiny hair and the safflower oil is good for moisture and penetrating into the scalp to seal it in so those are two great oils for a healthy shiny straightening glowing hair so this is the shea bay powder i wanted to show you guys again how it looks in this raw form and then as you can see my website and my cart right there don't forget to check out my website you guys my body butters and my face oils are available for purchase and also, don't forget to check out my other videos with other recipes of different type of body butters and body lotions and body shimmers, just all DIY um, products. Now, I'm going to be adding in the fragrant fragrance. I use geranium and peppermint this time yeah geranium and peppermint because i felt like it really helped better with the smell of the lemongrass because the lemongrass was a little bit too strong for me in the last one i made so i wanted to make it strong but light and peppermint's good for the hair especially strengthening your strands and then geranium is good for your hair as well I forgot the benefits, but I know it is good for your hair. And then this is me, a piking, you guys. I am so ecstatic. I got some new piking skills and or piping, whatever. And it is it's so well. I'm still working on it, but man, I come a long way. Now, this is the finished touch. As I said, the shea butter was absorbing, and the shea butter also helped with um just the overall whipping and then when it comes to the powder the powder is an ayurvedic curve it's hydrating and strengthening and it's good for your hair and don't forget to like and subscribe and hit your notification bells for all new videos guys and let me know what you guys think about this and the recipe is in the description below if you think about making your own you guys take care and have a blessed day